features 12 items performed by the artists of Pagan. It is rather unnecessary to introduce the art of merriment, but nevertheless, I'll explain a few salient points about the Burmese marionette. There are four varieties of puppetry. The shadow puppet, the puppet manipulated by rods, the glove puppet, and the string puppet or the marionette. The performance this evening is of the string type, the marionette. The art of manipulating the marionette with strings is a serious study, since the aim is to make the marionette figures of wood appear as lifelike as possible. The first evidences of Burmese marionette was traced to around the 15th century. The art was later improved and perfected in the Gumbau period by Uso, the Minister of Drama at that time. Tonight, we have selected 12 items. The first item, ladies and gentlemen, is called the Apildor dance. Apildor means a lady performer of the olden days who dances and clowns in the court to entertain her audience. Our marionette Apildor also will dance and clown for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
They now present the dance of the Belou or the Ogre. A ferocious Belou or an Ogre who is strong and huge challenges and dances showing off its immense strength. It is very interesting and artistic to express the harsh and brutal nature of anyone in a beautiful and delicate dance. <laughs> supernatural powers could fly through air, travel beneath the earth, and with a wave of his magic wand could bring the dead to life. A touch of his magic wand can also turn fruits into beautiful maidens with whom he likes to marry. <laughs>